I think today's been really special because we've had a range of partners in the room talking about apps and digital products and they've brought a lot of energy with them and we've really focused on how those digital products and apps can benefit citizens and patients if they've got long-term conditions. For patients and the public, how do they find the apps that are most useful to them? How do they know those apps are safe and can be trusted? Um, how do health and care professionals find the apps that are useful to them? We need to shift the perspective to one where the patient has got assets. Yeah, we had some young delegates, year nine students from the University Technical College in Liverpool and they'd won a prize and the prize was to come along to our event and to look at how digital technologies is changing health. One that I made was a redesign of diabetes blood test machines that would connect to smartphones and instead of using pricking, separate pricking and blood tests, they combined the two to reduce waste. As the Innovation Agency, we work with clinicians and citizens to help them to understand how they can use technology. And some of our presenters this morning were talking about digital literacy and helping citizens who aren't really engaged in technology to learn about how they use it so they can improve health. Done well could mean that we move from health that's done to patients to health that's done for patients. And, and certainly the difficulty for commissioners and providers is that balance between potential solutions and what patients actually want. We have a lot of innovators and businesses coming to us with digital products and we can easily see how that fits into a health and social care environment and where we might help them to deploy their products. We're asking people to take part in our new global citizen science project open to everyone. It's called 100 for Parkinson's, supported by the Parkinson's charities, the AHSN and other sponsors. And we're asking people to download our app, Umotif app, track their health for 100 days and donate their data for research. We connect to all the different sources of information and deliver that information to the patients to be able to manage and collaborate their care around their entire health network. These sorts of events that the AHSM put on are really useful in bringing together lots of the potential partners, clients and others that we would like to be working with to make more of an impact to improve care using digital technology. So it's really great to bring the right people together so we can see and meet each other all in one place. I think digital is moving very quickly in health. As citizens, we, most of us have smartphones and we have tablets and we use digital in every other part of our lives. So there's lots of products out there that we can use to help us stay healthy and to manage health conditions. It's interesting, important and it's the kind of career I want to go into when I'm older.